Let's get back to some WLS jingles. It's jingle time on Rewound Radio. Exactly, and uh, we had played a few of the Jam WLS jingles and Pam's WLS jingles, but not nearly enough, not nearly enough. So uh, let us get back to that era, 70s and 80s now. And uh, the WLS jingle, the WLS melody, was, as we've discussed all day, so recognizable, so memorable, that the station at one point in the 70s actually had a sing it and win contest. Chicagoland, and if you can sing our name, you can win. Each week, we'll be giving away more than $2,000 in cold, hard cash. Now, you can sing high, or you can go low, but all you need to know is... To be eligible, send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number, along with those of two friends, to WLS Sing It and Win, Box 11089, Chicago, 60611. WLS Sing It and Win. And, of course, uh, they did do that contest for a while. And then, uh, maybe they weren't pleased with the quality of the singing, they in time change that contest to something similar. Say it and win. W-L-S. That's right. Say it and win. <laughs> All you had to do was uh, tell them that WLS was your favorite station and uh, you would win. But uh, still, a lot of good call letter recognition there. Yes, they even had that uh, silly Energy One shotgun from Pam's for a while. But uh, as Mr. Guerin pointed out, in time the switch was made to jam. And uh, it was truly a thrill for us to be doing the jingles for both WABC and WLS. Oh, and by the way, the BBC at the same time, Radio 1 and Radio 2. You know, if, if this was a bingo card, I would have had all the little squares covered up and yelled, bingo! <laughs> but uh, our first package, we did some, some uh, little projects for WLS as early as 1976 and in 1977. A cut here, a cut there that they needed. But our first custom package for WLS is uh, one that we did in 1978. We called it Class Action. The best music, WLS. Music Radio, WLS. Now, when I was talking with John Guerin and I asked him about the size of the jingle packages that we used to do, and uh, I said, wow, you know, sometimes we did uh, 35 cuts. Well, actually, I misspoke there because often we did closer to 60 cuts at a time which is unheard of today, and it was unheard of then, too. But as John Guerin explained, they used a lot of jingles. He liked the variety. And after we did 60 jingles, okay, perhaps maybe uh, five or ten of them would fall by the wayside as just things that uh, didn't measure up. But still, we'd wind up with 50, 55 cuts. Well, for marketing purposes, that's, that's too much. Uh, if you send a client a tape that has 60 jingles in it, it just confuses them because really they only want to, or have the ability to get 10 of them, and you just overload them. So what we did is we broke this first package, this 1978 package, into two different packages. And uh, Class Action, which I've been playing, you had 35 jingles in it, but there were 20 more. And the uh, other 20, we sang for WABC. Of course, we sang them for WLS first. It was their custom. But then we sang them for WABC. They used some of them. And uh, we put that demo tape out under the name Promod. The best music. 
Now, you heard uh, John Guerin talking fondly about Marty Greenberg, who was the general manager at WLS when uh, John got there. And uh, sadly, Marty passed away just, just recently, which is, uh, which is sad. But uh, here's, here's the thing. See, when you like your general manager and he's giving you a nice jingle budget and letting you go down to Dallas, well... When we're singing the DJ jingles, you know you've got to come home with this. Marty Greenberg, WLS. Sure, always sing the general manager's name in the DJ jingle. <laughs> it's a good programming trick. It ensures your budget for next time. Um, I keep telling you about this WLS melody and how influential it was and is. Well... KISS FM, famous radio station in Los Angeles, and then there were all of the KISS clones, all of the copies that called themselves KISS. There were dozens and dozens of them from coast to coast. And uh, you know what their logo is? Well, it's the WLS logo. Now, KISS FM is only three notes, so it's really the ULS of WLS. But the reason that KISS in Los Angeles and then all of the other KISS disciples throughout the land, the reason that they have the WLS package is because the first jingles that they ever had on KISS FM, they got Outstanding, which was the 1980 WLS package that we did. And that's where that logo comes from. So it has perpetuated itself all through this time and all through uh, all of the other custom jingles that we did for KISS FM. See, the KISS FM is the same notes as the ULS of WLS. And uh, it's, it's just cool because when we did some of those custom jingles for KISS FM with that melody, then WLS heard them and said, ooh, can we get those? And we said, well, of course you can get those because uh, it was written with your logo in mind. <laughs> we can reverse engineer that and put it back in there. So then uh, in the 80s, WLS had some of those uh, hot kiss jingles as well. But we're, we're, still, we're still in the 70s. And in 1978-79, in through that era, this was the uh, disco in, uh, I was going to say implosion, the disco invasion, where a lot of disco music was very popular and uh, stations were reacting to the fact that uh, FM competitors started to pop up playing nothing but disco. Yes, there was such a time. And so both WABC and WLS wanted to have some cuts which were... Not strictly hardcore disco, but definitely had that vibe.